electric lighting is one of the most filmic characteristics. If you didn't bring a haze machine to your shoot, with this plugin you can fix it in post. If we have a look at our shot, we have some beautiful natural window lighting here. We can also see that the light flows in this direction because it hits the door quite a bit. Understanding the lighting in your scene is crucial to achieve a natural look with the volumetric lighting plugin. I will drop the plugin and jump straight into mask mode. Now I will select all of the light sources. I will feather them just a touch. And there we go. Underneath, as with most of my plugins, you can find the highlight recovery section. We will worry about that later. Next, you can increase the amount. Now, I would zoom out and drag this point around until I have a natural result. So, as mentioned before, the light hits this door, so we should be somewhere around here. Now, let's have a look at the actual quality of our light. And there are some issues. You can see these vertical lines here. They appear because of these curtains. This pattern just repeats within the light. To fix this, we just need to diffuse the light source. And there we go. Let's zoom back out again. And I think we need to move the light just a tad. Since my on-screen controls are somewhere out of range and I don't want to zoom out to find them because they are here, I can also manipulate the position of the light with these sliders. I think I will increase the Y direction just a tad to make it fall a little bit more towards the bottom. If you want, you can colorize your light. I would also recommend choosing a very bright color and a very light color. So maybe something like this. Underneath, you can also change the intensity of the color. I think something like this will look natural. We shouldn't make it too warm because the actual light coming from the outside is a little bit colder. Going back to the lighting parameters, you can see that we have a projection slider. This slider controls how much of the light is actually visible. And I think I will park it around here. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. If I drag the playhead around, you can see that the light actually reacts to the changes in the scene. The only thing you need to take care of manually is the position of the light if your camera is moving. Unfortunately, to do this automatically, we would need 3D tracking or at least two-point tracking, neither of which we can do in Final Cut Pro. With slight camera movements, you will get away if you just leave it as is. However, if your camera moves quite a bit, you can always keyframe the position of the light and match it to the movement of your camera. Of course, the light doesn't need to move in the scene, but for the sake of this tutorial, you get the idea. 